Hello yogis and welcome to my channel. My name is Ksenia and today I will guide you through the yin yoga full body stretch class. You might need today two blocks near you. We are going to do supportive fish pose and maybe for some other positions it will be also helpful. But mostly if you don't have the blocks we will do without props uh, all positions it's possible. We are going to hold today the poses from three till five minutes so I would say middle length yin yoga class. If it will be challenging for you, you're of course closing the pose before and taking the rest. I'm not going to be talkative today, so poses I think don't need much to be explained. So I want you just to take this time and space for yourself to enjoy background music and to enjoy your stretch. Let's jump into the practice. And we are starting today from the half butterfly position. So so I will ask you to bring your left foot close to the root chakra and to open your right leg on the side. So not in front of you, on the side. And up to you if you feel like uh, to move just in front of you, you can stay here or to change a little bit direction on the right side. So more turn on your right leg, rounding the back, staying in the pose, spend some time to find your level and connection with the deep breath melting down.
slowly come back you want to bring back into the straight line with your sitting bones so no rush especially if you feel that you engaged also your sides and change your legs so right foot to the root chakra and opening left leg on the side again up to you with supportive block or without find your age it's really nice to open arms and hands do not have grab an effect in any pose
and slowly awakening from the pose we are coming back and moving to the tabletop position so from tabletop position we will move to the froggy pose if you know that you need support for this pose you can use two blocks or one maybe cushion under your belly we want to fix the knees on the line of the hips opening our feet further and melting from the heart belly as low as you wish gently start to close the pose of first feet to the center line then support of your arms and coming back to the tabletop position moving to our back bends I will ask you to bring yourself on your belly and choose modification for the back stretch seal pose or sphinx pose i will move to the seal position spreading hands further from the body and out of the shoulders line pressing down through the pubic bone low part of the belly dropping shoulders down 
relaxing the face, staying still. Slowly grounding yourself with the chest down, relieving the pose. For some moments, you can place your forehead on your hands, staying in crocodile resting position. You can do three, five deep breaths here. And then coming back through the tabletop position, we will move to the dangling pose. So if you collect unnecessary pressure on the lower part of the back during froggy pose or back bends, it will help to relieve. Bring yourself on your feet, nice distance that gives you stability, somewhere on the hip level, and just letting yourself to hand down for more intensity, you can always hold opposite elbows or using supportive hands or blocks on the ground and relax here. 
your spine bone after bone, letting your neck to hand down, staying still. Softly bending the knees, you start to bring yourself back to the tabletop position and moving to our hip openness. So you want to step forward with the right feet outside of your hands, check your toes and fingers on the same line, and maybe some crawling move back finding the level of the stretch if you feel like you can open your right foot on the side staying in modification of lizard pose maybe moving deeper staying still
you start to straight your arms give some nice support through your hands stepping back to the tabletop position no rush and we are going to change the side so left foot stepping forward checking the level of the stretch maybe opening foot on the side and moving deeper start to relieve the pose using supportive arms hands step and back and we will move to the supportive fish pose so you need two blocks for this pose place it in the T shape and we are moving with our space between the shoulder blades on the first block I will continue the stretch with the butterfly position for my legs, so opening knees on the sides. But if you feel that it's too intensive, just straight the legs. Choose the level for your arms. I like when my hands above the head 
or like 45 degrees but any level is good opening our heart zone melting down to the torso, you start to close the knees if they will open and relieve and completely the pose bringing your back all the way down we will close session for today with the shoelace position 
I will ask you to bring knees closer to your chest, crossing your feet, grabbing them. You might need the belt if you feel that you're struggling in your shoulders and you need some distance. And for more intensity, you always can bring your feet higher to the chest, closer to the chest. For less intensity, just uh, lift them on the level of your hips. This is nice pose to stretch our hips. Very similar sensation that you can experience in the swan or pigeon pose. And it's nice relief for the lower part of the back. We are going to hold this pose short a period of time just to get relief for entire body, especially low part of the back before Shavasana. And then we live in the pose, moving into Shavasana, opening our arms and legs. And before melting down into Shavasana, if you want to join to me, I'm going to do three cleansing breaths so we can do nice deep inhale through the nose and exhalation through the mouth.
And now awakening, moving your fingers and toes. Stretch now the body. And softly coming back to the sitting position. No rush. You can lay on any side to take a moment here. And coming back. And we bring our hands in front of the heart for clear and loving intentions. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Thank you, yogis, for doing this practice with me. I hope you feel relaxed and uplifted at the same time, maybe a little bit sleepy. If you're curious about froggy pose more in detail and how to practice this, and there is a nice tutorial on my channel about this pose. And also a small tip at the end of the practice, if you hold the poses with supportive blocks, I really recommend sometimes to do the poses with the blocks and without the blocks, just to compare the sensation in your body, how deep you go without the block. Maybe it's something interesting for you to open in yin yoga, two approaches with support and without any support. And I see you on the mat. See you next time. Have a nice day.